Who's going to try? Morning, everyone. <laughs> I was talking to myself. Uh, right. Um, when I went to um, Holland and I went to s stay with Renier for a few days, and you'll know uh, who that is, and that's um, Kriabotiek. I hope that's how you say it. She knows I never get it right. I will put it in the description, though, but go and have a look at her work. She is amazing. And I have to tell you, um, the reason why I love and I do, I adore Renier's work, and it's because she's not... How can you put it? Things don't have to be perfect. They certainly don't have to be, you know... Um, how can you put it? spot on I love Renier's work because she does what she wants when she wants how she wants uh, and this is one of her projects now she sent me this as a gift after I returned home now we bought these while we were out shopping um, and you can see she's used it's like a um, uh, like a matting uh, is it was it a matting or like hair straw hair do you know what I mean and what she did, she separated it and she spread it along this. Because she started this while I was there. I didn't know it was for me. And if you can see all the fibres, <clears throat> and she just spread them all over. I think she put a bit of material in there as well. See, she just spread the fibres out, just glued them on. She's used flat back bling. She's used little tiny blobs here and there. Look, these little clear ones like little raindrops. She used this and then coloured him in. The flowers, I have to say, are amazing. And what she does, oh, she's got a dew drop there. I've just spotted that, didn't see that before. And one here, and one there, and one there. What she did, oh, look at that, another one. Um, she took the paper flowers. She's used, um, like, modelling paste, like I did on the flower yesterday. Another bling there. And it, it like stiffens them. And then she sprayed them and painted them. And coloured them. In fact, I don't think you did. I think you've just used the white. Oh, thanks, Ray. The white um, acrylic paint. So you can still see the colour. Now, somebody's asked me about the colour. The reason why we dab... White, well, the reason why I dab white paint onto my projects sometimes is because when you look at the vintage shabby chic from years gone by, um, they always look like do you remember? We after that era, we painted over everything, didn't we? All the cornices and all the floral things were everything was painted over white, and and it really it makes it look more vintage, and that's why we do it today it's because we get back the look we used to have and um i, I absolutely love it she's put lots of different things in she, her color scheme is fantastic i love this color and that renier is absolutely perfect for my living room these are the colors my living room's gonna have and i love it because you've got a touch of pale pastel orange pale pink, the gold, uh, the um, coffee uh, la latte type colour. And that I'm going to put that in my living room. I love that. I really do. And I am so grateful that I got it. Because <laughs> Renier makes me some awesome, awesome things. And we make each other things. Um, I just love her work. She's like the crafter I always wanted to be. She is an amazing altered art person. Yeah. And and just look, I'm not sure how well it's picking up. I'll take some uh, pictures, but I think you can see, look at the texture. This is just fibre. So in no way she laid it on just so perfect and bloody bad. She just spread it on, glued it down and then coloured over it and it's come out amazing. And you know what? This type of work, if you were to buy this type of thing in London, it would be by an artist down there. They would be selling it for hundreds and hundreds of pounds. But you, like Renier, can achieve the same thing 
by playing because that's what Renier does. We, like me, we play, we, we use what we've got um, to the best of our knowledge. We test, we trial, we play around to see what we can come up with. And you have to say, I mean, you know, we, we don't want to, we've just been talking about, you know, not wanting to praise somebody constantly that might have something to, um, you don't like. There isn't anything on here I don't like, I have to say, and that's why I'm praising it to the hill. Linda Live Art Now, Renier, and there are a couple of others for Altered Art. They're not just good, they're fantastic. But it's not because um, there have been no art school. I mean, I don't know if they have, but I'm not, I'm saying. It's not because um, the perfectionists or anything like that. You usually find people who experiment come out with the best projects. And Renier experiments. Thanks for watching, take care. And I can't wait to put this on my wall. Love you, Renier. You're a fab friend. You're an excellent crafter. And you support others like I do. Bye-bye for now.